Hi everyone, it's Rebecca. Um, you probably can't see very well because I'm on my webcam, but I got my Medusa pierced today. And I'm just gonna run you through how it went and my aftercare plans and stuff like that, just to give you an idea if you're planning on getting it done yourself. Um, I got it done today, and this is all the swelling I've had, which isn't very much. I don't really swell very much, so we put quite a short bar in because it's pierced me before, so he knows kind of what it's like, what my body's like, how it reacts and stuff. Um, so yeah, he shone a torch through to check for veins, there wasn't any. So he dotted me up, looked on, checked us where I wanted it, it was completely fine. So he put the clamp on, pulled it out, shoved the needle through, and that was that. And then it started, he went to put the jewel, the jewellery in the end of the tube, through the, the, I don't know what it's called, the little tube. And um, it started bleeding loads, so he quickly pushed the jewellery through, held it in, and had to keep dabbing it with kitchen roll and stuff, because it was like dripping down my face and onto the little bed and everything. So he did all that, and then managed to stop it bleeding, screwed the ball on, but the bleeding wasn't any fault of his, he'd done it completely how he should have, it's just, just one of them things. I do bleed quite a bit when I get any piercings, even nose piercings I've bled with, and it's not very common. Um, so yeah, then the jewellery's in, he cleaned up the blood and stuff, and then I was going home. And with tea, I had mashed up carrots, which don't sound very nice, but it's really good. So that I didn't like bang it, or so I could get used to eating and not catching on my teeth or anything. But, um, yeah, eating was fine. I thought it would be a bit more awkward than it was, but it wasn't. It's just kind of getting used to it now. It was a bit awkward talking at first, I found it quite difficult. I still can't say my peas very well. Per, but I'm getting there. It's still, yeah, it's still quite swollen at the minute, but I don't normally swell very much, so he's put an 8mm length bar in, and then I get that changed in two weeks, so yeah, it's not, it's not going to stick out horrendously. But I thought it might look a bit much with my septum, so I had it flipped up for today, but I've took it down now, and there's quite a big gap between them, and it's quite, so it looks alright, I think, so I'm going to leave it down. But yeah, um, this is only, I've only had it done seven hours and a quarter, so it might swell worse tomorrow, but I doubt it because I don't really swell. So I'm going to make another video tomorrow, day two, and update you, and then I'll update you again after a week, and then after two weeks, and then once I have my bar changed. So if you're thinking of getting it done and you have any questions or anything, just comment below or um, inbox me on my link on Facebook, um, the link to my Facebook's in the description. And just, yeah, just let me know if any comments or anything else you'd like me to talk about in my next video. Yeah, this is how it looks. It's like that on the inside. Not very attractive, but yeah, it's done it really well. So yeah, if you have any comments, just leave them below and I'll answer them in the next video.